Someone is spying on us. They are sending us horrible text messages and they're even sending letters to our house and coming to our house. But wait, wait, let me explain why this is happening. Today, in this video, my uncle Leslie really wanted to make my dad Richard really scared and really angry. And that's exactly what he set out to do. I'm gonna make believe he's getting spied on and watched. Really? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna mess with him all week, I'm really scary. Why are you doing this for? Because it's funny. So what are you going to do, Leslie? Well, I went to the shop the other day. Yeah. With a brand new phone. Oh, yeah. Brand new number. Right. And a brand new SIM. I'm going to text him weird things off this phone. Yeah. And make believe he's being watched by someone. <laughs> That's really evil. Yeah. But it's funny. So is that all you're gonna do? Well, no, Jamie. There's more. More? Yeah. What more can you do than that? Well, I'm gonna text him for a few days. Right. Then I'm gonna let him forget about it. Right. So he thinks it's all calmed down. Right. And then I'm gonna send him some horrible letters through the post. <laughs> Wait. So you're gonna text him and send him letters? Yes. From a mystery person? Yes. Because he thinks he's being spied on? Yes. But it's you? That's me. <laughs> And at the end of the video, yeah. I'm gonna have a massive scary surprise for him. What? Uh, we have to watch and see. Oh no, Leslie. Oh no. So, for the next 24 hours, Leslie started sending Richard weird and odd text messages. He kept sending him really weird things to lay the foundation. So, Richard was getting extremely creeped out. Who is this? Texting me like this. How did he get my number, eh? Richard, what? Calm down. What's going on? Well, somebody's texting me, innit? Have a look. What do you mean someone's texting? Have a look. Me? Hello, you don't know me, but I know you, and I'm watching everything you do. Be careful. What that mean? What? Who's, who's that? Well, I don't know. Someone's watching you. Well, what for? Well, who's it from? Un uh, unknown. No number. Who is it? I don't know. What, you just got this just now? Yes. Jamie, what? is this one of your wind-ups again? What? Is this one of your wind-ups? No, it's not me. Look, oh. I, look at my phone. It's not me, honest. You can look through my phone. It's honestly not me. I'm going to. Have a look. It's honestly not me at all. Take a look at your messages on the lot. It's not me. Well, don't come off your phone. No, I know. Well, who is it then? Oh, who is it? I don't know. Ring oh, him. Don't get a ring him. Hello? Hello? Ah! It's the invalid number, Jamie. They won't answer. What, you can't ring the number back? No! Well, just ignore it then, I would. Why? Well, it's obviously someone just messing around, isn't it? Two hours later, after the first text messages, Leslie sent Richard another text message to make him even more creeped out. Text me again! Richard! Do this for! Right, oh, calm down, what's happened? Well, look, they've done it again! What do you mean they've done it again? Uh, text me another text! What'd they say this time? Well, look! Don't ignore me, I can see everything you do. I'm following you! Nice green and blue top, reply to me now! Hey, you know I got this on. Where are they? I don't know. Someone's watching you, Richard. Right, listen, you need to sort this out now. I can't. What, ring for help or something? Who? I don't know. Why, help me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, what's going on here? What's going on? Right, have you seen the messages well, again? Look at the messages message. I'm getting. Look. Look. Let's have a look. Someone's watching him and they know what top he's got on and exactly what he's doing. And it's from an unknown number. I can't see have you, nobody. Have you tried ringing them? It's an unknown number. Invalid number. Uh, I do, I don't do. work. I need to get an answer to the police, if it's me, trying to get this sorted out. You need well, to ring... not enough evidence yet, is there? Well, you need to ring... You can just get the brass. Just Richard. a text, innit? Well, well, ignore it then. I don't know. Well, I will. Well, do you know what you've got on? Yeah, how do you know what you're wearing? Well, I don't know. You must have seen me somewhere. Well, well, maybe. Maybe it's just a bit of a practical joke. Well, I'm just going yeah. to let it go for a couple of days, see what happens. Richard was pretty creeped out by these texts. He had no idea who was sending these texts. And even Leslie was going along with Richard to make this look super real. But now it was time for Leslie to up the game and start sending him letters through the post. So Leslie waited two days to go by and then he started putting letters through the letterbox. Richard had completely forgotten about the text messages by now until he saw the letter and then he started to panic. Look, do you know that person who texted me or somebody who texted me the other day? What, like three days ago? Yeah. Yeah. Look, they even sent me letters now. What do you mean to send your letters? Oh, Dear Richard, you never replied to my recent messages. I've been watching your every movement. I know that you had a shower last night at 8.03 p.m. Then what should you have a shower, Richard? And I know all your bank information and passwords. What? 
Who is this Jamie? I don't what are you messing with an old man like me for? Listen, Richard, you need to come. Oh. This is serious, Richard. They know your bank information and all your passwords. Well, so they say, yeah. They can take all your money. You need to I ring don't them. Know what to do? Ring them, please. It also said if you don't reply to my next text within the next three hours, I will be ruining your life. I'm watching your every movement. Oh no! Richard, ring the police now. Uh, Quick! Jamie, there's no proof, is there? No name or nothing on the letters. Well, what are you going to do then? Uh, I don't know. What? Well, are you scared? I just just have to keep watching, see if we can see somebody. Are you scared? Yes, a bit. Richard was really panicking now. He thought at first this was all a joke, but now he's really, really worried. He thinks that someone is genuinely watching him and will not leave him alone. But then I thought of a much better idea to make this even more realistic. When Richard was asleep, I took his phone and went onto his Facebook and changed all of his passwords and his profile picture and even changed his bank passwords so he couldn't get on his Facebook or his bank account. This will make him think that the person who is watching him has actually took it one step further and began hacking all of his information and he will panic even more. After I did this, I then got Leslie to send him a text saying, I've hacked you. This was pure evil, but it made it so much more realistic and Richard went crazy. What? They f my Facebook account and that? Oh no! Richard, what's going on now? I just got a text. And he hacked my Facebook account and all that, Jamie! Let me read it. Wow! What, you got another text? I don't know what to do! What do you say now? Let me see. I've hacked your Facebook and your bank. You didn't reply. Now it's time to ruin your life! But no, Jamie, what right. can I do? I think you need to ring the police now, Richard. Honestly, because this is getting too far. You're getting letters. They've. Have, have you checked your Facebook? No! Check it now! Oh, Quick! Okay. Jamie, I can't get on my Facebook! Not my bank account! Wait, so they're actually telling the truth? They have hacked you? They must have, yes! What can I do? Richard! Jamie, this is serious! Do? Calm down! I can't! Just calm oh, down! Jamie, come to someone! What, ring, now. The, ring the police, Richard! Oh, Just, I haven't got enough proof! Well, there is proof! You've been hacked! Yeah, but... Oh. Ring the bank and ring the police now, quick! Okay! At this point, Richard was extremely, extremely worried. He didn't know what to do and was begging me to help him. And I actually felt really bad for him because he started crying. And Leslie has taken this prank way too far, but he found it extremely funny. And Leslie wanted to take it one step further. And this is what his plan was. I'm going to text him tomorrow and say, I'm outside, I dare you to come out now! You can't, he's going to be petrified! I know, but it's funny! What, and then you're going to tell him it was you all along? Yes! <gasps> <laughs> He's gonna absolutely go crazy! So, tomorrow came round and it was 4pm and Leslie texts Richard saying, I dare you to come outside. And this is what happened. I cannot believe it. Jimmy! Hey, come here! What's wrong? Oh, read this text, please! What's, what's help that? Help me! You've got another text? Yes! I thought you was ringing the police! Just read it, please, and help me! Why didn't you ring the police? Why? Well, I didn't want to waste their time, did I? It's not a waste of time. It is! Wait, what if they text you now? Well, read it! Time's up! I'm at your back door! I dare you to come outside! Come on, Jimmy! Please help me! Come down with me! I don't want to go in it by myself! Richard, they're at your back door! Quick, come on! Come on Let's Jimmy, go look! Come, with me. come on, quick, go! Richard was really scared to go downstairs after he got this text message. He wanted me to come with him to see who was the person who was sending these text messages and who is at his back door. We went down the stairs really slowly as he was extremely worried and behind this door was the person who was watching him. He was about to find out that it was his brother this whole time and he is going to go absolutely crazy. Here we go. My brother! It's been your brother this whole time! What? Oh, look. He's got the letter and the phone. But it's funny, is it? <laughs> hey, funny. Hello, bro. I dare you to come outside, you silly old man. <gasps> It was you all the time, was it? <laughs> what did you have for? <laughs> it was also me as well. I hacked your Facebook. I hacked you. You only did you. And you said no. It was me, yes. What did you have for again, eh? <laughs> Payback, innit? Payback. Because it's Bye. funny. That's it. I'm going to get you back and you back really bad. <laughs> Wait for my next video. <laughs> This prank war is getting insane, and like I always say, if you guys want to get involved, make sure you comment your prank ideas down in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe with notifications turned on so you do not miss another episode of this prank war.